Hello Scorpio and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for the full moon in Virgo and spring equinox astro tarot reading. So we have the full moon in Virgo occurring on Friday, March 18th at 3.18 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That moon is going to trine with Pluto in Capricorn. This is trines are favorable aspects and I see this as a focused kind of destruction. Pluto is ruled by Scorpio so this can have a profound impact on you Scorpio as it's turning the dirt if you will. I see this as the farmer plowing the field turning that soil. This is focused destruction. And then on March 19th Saturday we have that Libra moon trining with Mars, Venus, and Saturn all in Aquarius. Mars is feeling very confident. Venus in Aquarius, she's squaring, squares are challenging, Uranus in Taurus. So Venus is being questioned by Uranus. How are you showing up in the world? How are you making your money? This can make Venus feel insecure about how she's showing up in the world or struggling to find her identity. Then we have Saturn in Aquarius and this will have a profound impact on those of you who are experiencing your Saturn return as I am. And so this can shake things up. It's asking you to be responsible setting up boundaries and then we have the spring equinox on sunday march 20th when the sun enters aries opposing the libra moon but that's only going to last for 12 minutes then that moon slides into scorpio again having an impact on you scorpio and that'll occur at 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is, again, creating this rebellion. Now, Aries and Scorpio does have an interesting opposition relationship. And uh, it's not very often that water and fire get along together but they have a this strange relationship uh, because Mars, ruled by Aries, is rebellious, very confident, powerful. And the Scorpio moon is the underworld, the occult, that which is hidden. So this energy for Mars People can be quick to anger. This can be especially difficult for those who wish to express their individuality. You might feel like you're a walking target. And uh, this is going to continue throughout the rest of March. And by the following week, you might want to be putting your walls up, setting up your boundaries, uh, being on the alert for misleading or manipulative people. And this, of course, can go both ways. We all have that shadow side that can be manipulative so that we can get our way. So with all of that said, let's see what your oracle cards have to say, Scorpio. This is a divine tea time card to help you through these trying times at the end of March. So here we have number 38, spice with star anise, fennel, and cinnamon tea. And this is going to be soothing. So this could help you soothe yourself, especially if you are trying to express who you are and others feel like, and you feel like that you're a walking target. So take a little tea time out and soothe your nerves. And then with uh, the Virgo full moon, I thought I'd draw some earth magic. So here we have volcano, fatality. This immediately makes me think of Aries, 
entering, you know, the sun entering Aries. So this can be very volatile. This can be volatile relationships. And um, it can also be that temper that's showing up in March. So then we have rain purification. This is a nice balance to this volcano because it's going to help soothe those fires, those volatile moments. Okay, and before we get into your witch's wisdom, I do want to draw some energy, draw an energy card for you to see what kind of energy is flowing your way at this time, how it's affecting you. And please remember, this is a general reading, so only go with the messages that resonate with you. Here we have taking a deep breath with number seven. So yeah, pour yourself a cup of tea and take a deep breath. Gather yourself. And maybe you might be feeling a little angry yourself. And this would be a good time to take that time out and take a deep breath. You know, because we too can be very volatile, especially when who we are is being challenged. Now let's see what animal spirit shows up to help you and guide you at this time. The bear, brown bear spirit. Take time out. Okay, take that time out and have a cup of tea and take a deep breath and breathe. And because this is springtime, I feel that the fairies love to come out and celebrate the flowers as they are blooming. So let's see what fairy blessing is here for you. And we have a blessing of being understood. Okay, some of you Scorpios, really might feel misunderstood and that's understandable because that is the energy that we are all experiencing at this time and that when you're feeling misunderstood instead of blowing up like this volcano take some time out take a deep breath and have a cup of this spicy tea and let that help to purify and soothe you. Now let's get into your witch's wisdom oracle cards here. Here we have hex and banishment. Okay, some of you might be getting rid of some energies, people that are no longer harmonious with who you are or who you're becoming. And then we have moon cycles. Okay, the great time for banishment. And this banishment can also take, you know, rain and fire are both purifying elements here. And with the cycles of the moon, you want to do the waning moon to help you get rid of that which you don't want in your life. And that will occur with as we leave Virgo moon and it moves into Libra and then moves into Scorpio because we're going to have these three different signs occurring between the full moon of Virgo and the spring equinox. So know that everything is in cycles and uh, I'm going to read from the fairy book what your blessing of being understood means to give you a deeper understanding. Okay, the fairy gift of being seen for who you are and being known and understood. The fairies have a great and deep understanding. That is to say they have an ability to recognize who we are as they can feel and read our energy in ways we can only begin to work with ourselves. The fairies now bring to you this gift of knowledge and recognition, both of yourself 
and of others. With this gift comes the ability for others co to connect with you in true love. For when there is understanding, there can be affection and comfort and a sense of ease in who you are. You belong in the presence of another when understanding comes. So you may be blessed and be truly seen by others. May you also in turn comprehend and recognize the energy of those about you. And in this freedom, open up and share trusting in the truth of being seen. May this tenderness flow and continue to be enhanced over time so that the comfort of being understood becomes inclusive so that you are no longer so that you no longer stand on the outside or feel that the great glass wall between you and others any longer instead may inclusion welcome you home and may you in turn do the same for others so let those who will nurture this quality of understanding be with you so the fairies can smile and be pleased that you have found a home within the world and a place with others, your own tribe, your own self. Blessings and may the fairy gift of deep and true understanding be yours. Okay, that is really deep and profound. Now let's go deeper into this reading with some tarot. Okay, and here we have the Six of Pentacles. This is a karmic reward. And this can also... Um, bring to your consciousness your ability to give and receive because some people have difficulty in receiving the gifts that are being bestowed upon them. You feel that you don't deserve that and it can also go the other way around. How do you give to others? Are you giving them that understanding that gift of being seen and being understood. Okay, then we have the Four of Cups. Here you have been, you are tired, you are weary, and you're in a place where you're not sure if you can trust. But this is a fairy gift, a healing gift of this cup. So it's up to you whether or not you take that cup and receive this gift then we have the two of wands this is initiating you into a new cycle a path of light then we have the eight of pentacles this shows that you have many skills or that you are mastering a skill some something creative and this could also be a new opportunity for your work uh, this could be a invitation to work for a company that you like and then here we have the king of swords and this brings balance to your life this is ruled by libra and we do have a little bit of that Libra moon energy in this reading here. And this is helping you to bring balance to who you are, to being understood, but also understanding and recognizing others who are struggling. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Yes, the, with this Two of Wands and Ten of Cups, you are being invited to follow your true heart, your true self. This is emotional satisfaction, following your bliss. And this also brings love to what you do. You love your work. Then we have the five of pentacles. And this is that feeling rejected, feeling abandoned, feeling like you don't fit in, feeling like you're the outsider. Just remember when you are feeling that, um, 
this is just to show you that your gifts are unique. Not everyone has the gifts that you have. They are uniquely yours. And here's this judgment card. You are being reborn into the spring. You are being called upon to answer your true calling. And then we have the three of wands. This is you expanding into those infinite possibilities. It is not without risk, but nothing worthwhile is not without risk. Okay, now let's get into your moon magic card because the moon always has magic regardless of what phase it is in and what magic does it bring to you, Scorpio? Okay, here is your artwork. And we have the waning crescent moon. Okay, this is towards getting towards the new moon. I invite peace within myself. I ripple this outwards. This is that blessing of being understood from your fairies recognizing your own uniqueness and in recognizing your own uniqueness you're able to recognize that others are also unique in who they are and now let's look at your fairy whispers see what message final message your fairy friends have to have to give to you Very healing. Nice. We bring healing to those who respect the land and its wisdom. Delight in the blessing of the earth, and we will tend to you with reverence. The answer lies in the love of the earth. So if you're feeling a bit out of sorts, Scorpio, go work out in your garden. Have a deep breath and a cup of hot tea. Take Maybe make your garden into a meditation space. You know, even if it's just a little patio garden, this could be your space of meditation where you breathe, have your cup of hot tea, and take a time out and understand who you are at this time because you are changing. You are shifting. Something within you is changing. And that energy is going to ripple outwards. Okay, Scorpio, these are the messages I have for you. And I hope that you found this reading helpful and beneficial. And until next time, take care.